So for the hood, we have four sides and two centers. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew this side to the hood, good sides together. You start there, you go around all the way like this, right? And then the other side is so here so that we have one hood you do the same thing here I've pinned this I'm going to sew it now you do the same on the other side and then twice because we have this double So when it's all said and done, your hood will look like this. Except that we'll have that twice and we'll join them together um, in just a minute. We have two hoods now, which is going to be one hood. Looks like that. We've got the same thing here. Before we continue, I'm just going to trim back Steam allowance. And then you put them on top of each other like that. So with the good sides together, right? You align the seams here, put a few pins in there. And then we're gonna sew all the way along this edge here. All the way around at the standard um, seam allowance, right? There's no need to sew there. Well, no need yet, we'll get to that later. Okay, we've got the hood sewn together all along here. I am not going to trim back this seam allowance um, because what we're going to do is we're going to flip this the good side out like this. I'm going to press this seam flat and then I'm going to, and we are going to stitch a bit from the edge, um, like a centimeter and a half or maybe two if you want. Um, and this will create a rim on the hood, which is decorational. But by leaving the seam allowance in there, this makes the rim a little bit poofy, like you know, a bit thicker. And I think that's a nice um, effect. If you want to run a cord through your hood, um, what you need to do is before you um, top stitch this channel, you want to make a hole, like put in a, a ring to run the cord through here and here. However, be aware that this will overlap, so do it before the part that overlaps. If you are uncertain, there's a notch on your pattern that will show here somewhere where it starts overlapping. So. You know, you make the hole a little bit before, you only do it on the outside, and then later um, you can run the, the cord through it. So I'm just gonna press this flat a little bit, this seam, and then we're gonna top stitch along this edge here at a, like a one and a half centimeter, something like that. Make sure that you uh, go beyond the seam allowance that you feel inside. along the edge of our hood. <coughs> now before we attach the hood I'm going to search together these two layers here along the edge. Um, if you don't have a serger you can just apply a zigzag stitch 